Hi, second graders. We have our Wednesday reading video today. So just a quick reminder, if you have not already read our story, Baby Bears on page 186, please make sure you read that story first and then come back to watch this video so that you have all the information that you need. All right, this should look pretty familiar because we just filled a chart out like this yesterday about eagles and eaglets. And today we are going to do the same thing about bears. In fact, are not walruses. Not walruses. Oh, she just loves a good walrus, I Fine. guess. I guess we'll talk about bears. <laughs> In fact, we're not only going to talk about bears, we're also going to talk about baby bears. That's better. so that is actually going to be our main topic. So let's go ahead and write that down. <laughs> Whoa. That specific marker always gives us trouble. Whoa, all right. So we're going to write down our topic is bears and baby bears. Handwriting is awfully large today. All right, so bears and baby bears is our topic. I loved this nonfiction story. Me Do you want to know why? Why? The pictures. Yeah. Some of them were so, so cute. cute. Like, I now want a baby polar bear. Like, I want to keep one at Until home. they're like adults and can kill you. That would be a problem. Yeah. Um, they're pretty they're aggressive so in the wild, cute Ms. Marquardt. and like fluffy and fuzzy, and I just want to. And that's them. honestly, I'm gonna give a PSA right now. This is a public service announcement. If you ever go to like Yosemite or to Yellowstone or to some place where there's actually bears, and you see an adorable little baby bear, you get away from that bear because you know what happens when you see a cub. You know what that means? It probably means like the mom is nearby. The mom is near, and if a mother bear sees human beings or any other animal besides like its own little family near their babies they get super protective and they will attack you mm. so oh. if you see a baby bear you need to like not go around it even though it's so cute and you want to snuggle it so hard so don't take it home no stay away because you know what's going to happen as soon as you get close enough to that bear that mama bear is going to come around the corner tearing around all crazy and she's going to attack you so you stay away from the baby bears as much as you want to see them I'm now, done. I'm now, off my soapbox. I just, now they're going to have nightmares. You need to know. You need to know And that. I just wanted to talk about how cute they are. I want you guys to be safe. I care about your safety. Okay? <laughs> can we, Fine. Can we Fine. move on here? You can be safe. Okay. All right. Here we go with our video. Okay. We need to talk about some of the important details and facts that we learned about in the story, not what we talked about for our public service announcement. Yeah. Let's go back so, to the story. Forget about everything okay. I just said, but don't. <laughs> yeah. But also remember it but for the rest of your like, life. Like forever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what do you think is one important detail that we can start our students off with for today from the story? Well, yesterday we learned about eagles mm -hmm. and today we learned about bears and I remember them saying that eagles are not mammals, but bears are mammals. Bears are mammals, absolutely. Which means that they are covered in fur uh -huh. and they get milk from their moms to survive. So bears are mammals. And we also learned that baby bears have a special name, and we don't just oh. call them baby bears. Baby bears are called cubs. Cubs. We so could add that. Add in. that on. Yeah. All right. So, baby bears. I mean, this isn't Goldilocks. We're not going to say baby bear. We're going to say the cubs. Hey, can I just pause for a second? How come Goldilocks didn't get attacked by the mama bear? That's a good question. Probably because huh. it's a fairy tale and it's not it's real life story. It's fiction. All right. We're coming at you with some nonfiction this week. <laughs> Real life stuff, you guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. So bears are mammals. Cool fact. Baby bears are called cubs, not baby bears. Mm -hmm. All right. What else do you remember from the story that we could write down as an important detail? Well, I remember learning all about cubs uh -huh. and we learned that cubs stay with their mother until they're like two or three years old. All right. But my child is with me till he's 18. Mm -hmm. oh. It's going to cost you a lot more money than it costs a mama bear to raise her cubs. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so cubs stay with their mom until they are. I'm going to do two to three with a little dash, two mm -hmm. to three years old. I always 
always think it's interesting to learn about how long animals stay with their parents because for different animals it's a different length of time yeah some like, animals don't stay with their moms at all at all they're like on their own from birth like see you later mama and i honestly would have thought that eagles and eaglets mm -hmm. leave each other faster than bears mm -hmm. but that we learned yesterday that the eaglets stay with their mom until they're five wow. Well, pretty cool. Yeah, and these guys only stay until they're two or three. Hmm. Could you imagine Max being two years old and just being like, peace out, Mom! I'm going to go explore the world and take care of myself. Give me the car keys. Yeah. No. No. I still wouldn't. Um, I love him. Not even at nine. Uh -oh. He wouldn't be able to. Uh, <laughs> no. Crazy. He's at home, locked up forever. Okay. okay. So we have two more things. that yeah. One thing that you have to do, one thing that's optional. Okay. So let's talk about the thing that they have to do yes. first. You have to come up with another detail from the story. And remember, a detail is a fact or something you learned from the text. We want you to write that other fact or detail here. And that book is filled with awesome facts about bears. And I'm sure that you can find maybe not even one. You might even be able to find two or more that you want to write down for us. Yep. All right. Now, at the bottom of the page, we had some questions about students wanting to know how can they get that challenge point? How can they make sure that they're getting a four on their packets if they're doing everything that they can already in the work? They're already doing a great job. How do I get a four in my packet? Well, here's one way that you can try to get a four. We're not going to guarantee it, but you could try answering our challenge question at the bottom of the page. And it asks, how do baby bears learn from their mothers? So Pretty good question. You can come up with something from the story that tells us something mm -hmm. that they learned from their mother bear. Yep. Then you might be closer to getting a four. But remember, everything else in your packet has to be completed and done and correctly. Yep. You can't just guess or leave blanks or do it wrong if you don't watch the video mm -hmm. and you don't follow the writing prompts or you don't do what we tell you to do. And let's say, let's take the math video, Miss Marquardt. Yep. Let's say they do everything here. Yep. And they answer the challenge question, but we can tell that they didn't watch the video and pay attention because um, they didn't circle the ones and, nope. ex and like cross them out and turn them into tens rods. They just got lazy and just did it mentally and just yep. threw the answer on. Then I don't give a four. I'm not going to give you a four. I do not give a four if I can tell a student has not watched yes. a video. Yep. Anytime. No matter what it is, I automatically yep. will not give them a four. Yeah. Because a four truly means exceeding. It means you are going above and beyond what our normal expectations are. So you're doing everything exactly how we want you to do it, and you're doing more. Yeah. So I want you to try this out. If you're not sure about it from the story, you're welcome to even do some of your own research. Go on Epic, read a book about bears, tell me something cool that you learned there. Um, but that's a great way to try and absolutely show your best on this assignment.